1948 D. Roosevelt Dime. Graded as Mint State 68 by NGC with star designation. According to Grading Service, 1948 D. Dimes are more likely to be well struck than those of the other mints, and this contributes to the adequate supply of certified full torch examples. It's remarkable that only a single variety is known for this issue a minor repunched mint mark. This star designated specimen was sold for $600 on January 8, 2024. Number 6. 1948S Roosevelt Dime in Mint State 68. 1948S dimes were widely hoarded at the time, and these rolls were mostly broken up during the 1970s 90s. They have furnished many gems through MS67, though FT coins are distinctly in the minority. While S Mint Roosevelt dimes of all dates 1946 55 often display bright, frosty luster, their peripheral details are frequently distorted or shallow from dye erosion. The final numeral of the date is sometimes almost invisible, and this phenomenon is present to a lesser degree of Philadelphia and Denver mint dimes, too. This elusive specimen was sold for $840. Number 5. 1951 Proof Roosevelt Dime. Graded as PR67 Deep Cameo by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the Mint began producing what is known as modern proof sets in 1936, then suspended their production in 1942, and resumed it again in 1950. Thus, proof Roosevelt dimes were first struck in 1950, making the 1951 coin offered here from only the second year of production. It is similar in overall availability to the 1950, non-cameo and cameo pieces are readily available, but deep cameos are rare. This superb gem is well struck and devoid of contact marks. Amber, olive, and golden toning in the margins adds I appeal to the well-contrasted interiors. It was sold for $2,160. Number 4. 1946S Roosevelt Dime with Repunched Mint Mark S over S and Double Die Reverse. Graded as MS68 Full Bands by PCGS. FS501 is one of three repunched mint mark varieties for the 1946S Dime showing multiple repunchings of the mint mark north of the primary S. The reverse die is also minutely doubled on the legends and leaves, but the cherry picker's references notes, most of the value for this variety is for the significant RPM. Examples of this variety are scarce, and they are rare and high grade. This piece is the single finest FS501 coin certified at PCGS, whether full bands or not. Sharp, beautifully preserved surfaces yield vibrant luster and original album toning. Deep amber gold, forest green, and crimson hues engulf the margins, leaving the centers with a light golden hue. It was sold for $2,760. Number 3. 1947S Roosevelt Dime with Repunched Mint Mark S over D. Graded as MS67 Full Bands by PCGS. The term repunched mint mark indicates that the mint mark on the coin's die was stamped more than once, resulting in a noticeable doubling or overlapping of the letters. In this case, the D mint mark was initially stamped, and then the S mint mark was struck over it, resulting in a regular shape which can be detected under close inspection. Such varieties are often sought after by collectors and can add value to the coin. This elusive specimen was sold for $3,712.50 with buyer's fee. Number 2. 1982 Roosevelt Dime with No Mint Mark P graded as MS67 Full Bands No Mint Mark Strong by PCGS. According to Grading Service, the 1982 No P Dime is the first U.S. business strike coin which accidentally left the U.S. Mint, without containing its intended mint mark. Because of the missing mint mark, this coin is now worth hundreds of times more than its original face value. This full band specimen ended up selling for $4,837.50 with buyer's fee. Number 1. 1949S Roosevelt Dime with Full Bands. Graded as MS68 FB by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 1949S Roosevelt Dime has the second lowest mintage in the entire circulation strike silver Roosevelt Dime series. The only other lower mintage dime in the series is the 1955P. The 1949S Roosevelt Dime is easily obtainable in lower circulated grades and trades for a slight premium above melt value. In XF grades it becomes a bit tougher but still obtainable without much effort. 
In uncirculated grades it is very scarce compared to most other issues in the series. In fact, in MS60, MS63 grades it trades for a significant premium compared to any other coin in the series. This highly elusive specimen was sold for $11,812.50 with buyer's fee. Thanks for watching this video. Please consider subscribing to our channel and don't forget to smash thumbs up button. God's willing, see you in the next episode.